This video is not here for me to brag. I've had a lot of questions about how much a gym of that caliber would cost. Just wanted to answer the question for people. What's going on guys and welcome to another video here on my channel. So today we have a very highly requested video. So if you've been following my channel or you've been following me on Instagram, you will see that I'm fortunate enough to have the most unbelievable home gym. And today I'm going to be taking you through what it was before and how I got it to where it is today. I'm gonna to be showing you the ins and outs of the gym, how much everything costs, whether I think the equipment I've got is practical and of good quality, and ultimately the reasons as to why I decided to build my own home gym. So I'm actually gonna start on why I decided to build my own home gym. So obviously, you all know, you've all been going through the same traumatic thing that I've been going through, COVID-19. <laughs> Obviously, I'm an enthusiastic gym goer, that's one reason, and I knew that I wouldn't be able to survive very long without a gym, and it was actually a few months into the COVID situation that I decided to build my own home gym, and obviously, without foreseeing how long we was going to be in that situation for, and now we're still in it, it worked out a treat because I got it a few months into COVID, and now I've been able to utilise it for pretty much the whole time. I know gyms have briefly opened, but obviously they haven't been open for like a long period of time where we can like commit to going back to them. So having the home gym has been a real benefit for me. So not only was it for personal gain, obviously I am also a personal trainer. So in the back of my mind was when we are allowed to not socially distance and actually physically one-to-one -one train people moving forward with my business financially it made a lot more sense to actually have my own facility now obviously i will be releasing the figures to you in this video of how much it cost me and although it, it did set me back quite a bit because i literally went all out i wanted the home gym of all home gyms although it did set me back initially what i spent on the gym i would have lost in over a year working in a gym environment so i was actually paying 500 pounds a month to personal train in a gym and obviously i'm not going to tell you the figure but i'll use that figure of what I was paying gym rent and relate it to why the home gym is more beneficial to me. And obviously coinciding with the fact that, you know, having a home gym right now is obviously beneficial. Even if it didn't make sense business wise, it was a great thing to do because I've been able to train, maintain my physique and mentally keep quite stable throughout this whole devastating scenario that we are all in. And obviously use the gym as my outlet so without further ado i'm going to get into everything you need to know about how much it costs the space what it was before yeah so initially it was my garage so just your normal run-of-the-mill car garage that doesn't get used for cars it was just basically a storage space obviously you can see that i already had like my little bits and bobs gym equipment some flooring in there you know boxing bag but it was basically just a garage so there was nothing much to it and so obviously this space wasn't ready just to go straight into being a home gym it had to undergo a lot of renovation to make it suitable for a gym and obviously to look more aesthetic because if we had just stripped out all the stuff and left it as it is the walls were run down the flooring was all bumpy and concrete it just wasn't ready to be a gym and so we started that process we actually were very fortunate we knew someone who is basically just like a handyman he does literally everything couldn't recommend him enough. We basically cleared out the garage ourselves and from there he did everything else from the painting, the floor leveling, the paneling on the ceiling, uh, like the beams going across, the lighting, the electricity. He literally did everything. He was unbelievable. So a big thanks to him. So obviously he was my first point of call because I needed to make sure the renovation was all done before I could put any equipment in there. And just him alone, without all the stuff that we needed to buy to help him, him alone cost about £900 for the total amount of his time. I think we had him for just under two weeks or so, so it was really like cost efficient. He did an amazing job, got everything done super quick, and then I was able to focus on getting all the equipment in. On top of the money for him, obviously, his wage wasn't responsible for covering the cost of paint and stuff like that. So I had to buy that all as well. And I've actually got a list here on my phone I'm going to read exactly what everything was that we needed and how much it cost so we had we had to buy floor leveler which was 120 pound for everything paint which was 200 pound the wooden beams that go across the top they were 150 pound mdf whatever that is is 75 pound 
floor paint, which was 90 quid. The spotlights, which I've got, which create the sickest gym lighting you'll ever see, were 220 pound. The mirrors that are on the walls, the four mirrors are 500 pound. And then obviously the garage door, before that was a manual um, garage door. So if you wanted to lift it up and open the door, you'd have to do it yourself. So we wanted to change that obviously to make it a little bit more secure in there and also to make it more practical for getting equipment in and out. So I've got an electric garage door, which is a lot more convenient. It also has an alarm. So if anyone tries to break in, we can obviously hear it from a mile away. And it just made a lot more sense. It's a lot more practical, something we wanted to do anyway at the house. So with all of that, you can see what it all totaled up to on the screen now. But yeah, like I said, so this was the first step before we could actually move everything into the gym. And obviously, as you would have seen, the process of the gym being renovated and being transformed from what it was to being ready to have all the gym equipment put in. Now, with that all out of the way, we move on to the bulk of the cost, so which was the gym equipment. So obviously the most important thing in any gym, not just a home gym, is the flooring. So I had to make sure that I had quality gym flooring to be able to obviously take the load of weights, make it so slightly soundproof so it doesn't make a loud bang when it lands on the floor and to obviously just protect the floor from all the heavy weights that are going to be thrown around it. So we got the flooring. Everything I literally got in this gym, apart from a few bits like the cable machine and a few accessory equipments was from a company called Black Box Fitness. You may have heard of them. They're a massive company and honestly, they sorted me out proper. Their equipment is unbelievable. I cannot fault any of their equipment. They were speedy with delivery. A few items did take a little bit longer to come, but obviously it was well, we are in the middle of a pandemic and when I ordered it, we were in, obviously in COVID. So some bits were a little bit harder for them to get hold of because they were from other companies. So they were outsourced. But other than that, all the equipment I got from there come within a month. So while everyone was struggling to get gym, equi gym equipment, obviously because I did a bulk of order from them, they got everything for me. They obviously had to make some of it for me and I got it all. So what I got from Black Box was a squat rack. I got dumbbells from two and a half kg to 40 kg. I got slam balls from three kg all the way up to 15 kg. I got medicine balls from two kg up to 10 kg. I got the flooring from there. I got my barbell from there, all the bumper plates, the little storage unit for all the plates I got from there as well. I got the timer from there. I literally got everything from there. And I'm going to put the invoice on the screen now and you can see it came to just under £7,000. So everything that I got in that gym was the highest quality staff. I got a lot of it. It came to just under £7,000 and you can see that all here in black and white. So like I said, there was like a few bits that they had to outsource to get. So something like the bike, which isn't actually from their company, but they do sell it on their website. The assault bike that I got, again, got it from them, but it just took a little bit longer to come. But that was all included in the price that you just saw on the screen. Now, like I said, I didn't get everything from Black Box. There are a few bits in this gym, quite a few bits that I got from like Amazon. So for example, the cable machine, luckily enough, obviously I've just done a little search over Amazon, eBay, just Google in general, seeing if there was any cable machines, typed in on Amazon, cable machines to sell. This one come up, saw the reviews on it, looked pretty good, was exactly what I wanted, and it cost 700 quid. And compared to secondhand ones, ones that were from like big reputable companies, you know, proper heavy duty cable machines, I mean, which this one is, but I mean like the ones from the companies that are known for doing these things, the price was really, really cheap. So it made sense to go for this one. And obviously it came with warranty anyway. So if it was no good, I could have just sent it back. But honestly for 700 pound, again, I just can't fault this cable machine. It's literally a great investment. The only, only thing I can complain about is that I didn't even realize it's not an adjustable pulley. It's only got the highest setting and the lowest setting. And that is probably the biggest downside to it. But with that said, I cannot complain at all because I'm so fortunate to even have all the equipment that I've got, a cable machine. I mean, I think anyone in this time would be dying for a cable machine. So the fact that I've got that, whether it's adjustable or not doesn't really make a difference to me and the cables are of really good quality sometimes they can drag a little bit but you know for the price i paid i'm extremely happy with it the cable machine obviously came with um just some attachments automatically but i did go and get things like a lap pull down bar that it didn't come with because obviously it's not actually meant for that but i wanted to manipulate some movements with it 
like a lap pull down. So I got the lap pull down bar. I got another tricep bar like the V bar. And I also got some more pull downs like the V bar pull down and a neutral grip pull down as well. Also got a TRX off Amazon. I got battle ropes, which again were really cost efficient off Amazon. I got bands, a step. And I also got the thing that all my clients love the most, which was the mirror fit. Bulgarian split squat stand, got that off Amazon as well. So as you can see, obviously the bulk of it was from Black Box, but there was a few little accessory bits from Amazon. So adding everything that I got from Amazon onto the invoice I got from Black Box, the total of it all come to 8,000 pounds thereabouts, because everything I got from Amazon was around 1,100 pounds. So if we total up everything so far, from the renovation, the labor costs, the garage door, the equipment, everything all together comes to a whopping 11,500 pounds. So now that we've got that figure, I can explain how that benefits me business-wise as well as obviously having the luxury of a home gym. So like I said, I was paying 500 pounds a month gym rent, which as far as gyms goes, it was actually a good price. There's a lot of gyms that are more expensive. And when I say gym rent, basically all it is, you pay the gym a fee, so I was paying 500 pounds a month. And let's say you charge your clients 30 pound a session and you end up earning around 3,000 pounds a month. You would subtract that 500 pound off of that 3,000 pounds, so your profit that month would be two and a half thousand pounds. So if we use that figure to work off that 500 pounds a month, if you do that yearly, that works out to 6,000 pounds a year that I was paying gym rent. So now, obviously, by investing in the home gym, I'm completely eliminating the cost of paying rent to a gym. So every year I'll be saving six thousand pounds. Now the gym cost me eleven and a half thousand pounds. So obviously after two years I will have covered my investment by what I would have paid for gym rent. I know a lot of you might be thinking like oh well two years you know that money that you would have spent in the gym it's not really value of investment you know waiting two years to save that type of money and to be honest I may not even be a personal trainer in two years time obviously focusing a lot on the content side of things and the online side of things. So that is probably the direction my business is going in. But with that, having a home studio to be able to film content in, obviously like the situation we're in for COVID, having that facility there for myself is extremely beneficial. And I had the money there to do it. So when you combine business and pleasure, it made all the sense in the world to do it because not only will I enjoy it, but I'll also earn out of it as well. And it's gonna be there forever. So the gym equipment, isn't gonna expire, it's not gonna go off, you know. I'm always gonna have that gym equipment. If I wanna open up my own gym one day, I can take all the equipment that I've got here and put it into that facility and save the cost of that in the future. Like I touched upon, using that home gym facility for creating content is honestly great because sometimes when you go to actual gym facilities and stuff you know it's very crowded it's hard to actually sometimes focus on filming the content there's distractions music in the background can cause copyright issues so you can control that at a home gym so that is going to be very beneficial for the content creation side of things i could not be happier with the gym that i built i mean i think it is just the most ideal home gym ever. I actually forgot to say that there is obviously a sound system and a TV in there that I'll add to the total cost and you'll be seeing on the screen now. But yeah, like I was saying, the home gym is honestly unbelievable. I'm extremely grateful for what I've been able to do for myself. Obviously, I built my business up enough to be able to make this step and to afford everything that I did. This video is not here for me to brag. I've had a lot of questions about how much a gym of that caliber would cost. Just wanted to answer the question for people. Some people may not understand why someone would spend so much on a home gym, but then I wouldn't spend money on a lot of things that other people would spend money on. So for example, I don't really go on night out i don't really go on extravagant holidays i save a lot of money doing other things and investing in my business and into things that i know are going to give me enjoyment so that is why i built the home gym once this situation is over the pandemic is over we are allowed to resume personal training i am very confident that with the cost i charge clients and how many clients i've got that i'll be able to make back the investment fairly quickly i even managed to make a lot back when we there was brief spells where we were allowed to do some personal training and gyms were open so that was a huge benefit for me and it made me realize what i can actually make by not having any overheads and i also touched upon that 
in the future there are some plans for me to get my own gym and I don't mean a home gym I mean my own actual gym I'm in the process of deciding whether I want to expand the current home gym so that is a decision that I'm making or whether I want to actually go and get a facility to have a proper gym where I can have members and stuff like that you may be wondering well why would you want to build the home gym up even more like what's the point and the reason is like I said personally I love it I love having a gym at home I've always wanted a home gym it's literally been like a life goal of mine since I started going to the gym when I was like 11 years old I used to see like the rocks gym and I used to think that is something I would definitely want one day I know I'm obviously not a multi multi millionaire but if I can get close to that I will and for what I'm trying to bring you guys with the creative content having a sick home gym maybe something even bigger with more equipment and some machines would be great to get some content with other fitness influencers and give you guys the content that you all want to see so you've seen how much the gym costs you guys have been asking there it is that is the answer i want to thank you all for tuning into my channel if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel like this video leave a comment below whether you're shocked at how much the home gym costs and also let me know what you want to see more of on this channel and i'll see you all in the next video